Um, I've got to say another thing that really was strange before we even started is um, I was thinking about your performance because it was really a great performance in this mm -hmm. film. The film I wished could have been a bit better. I was hoping for that, but mm -hmm. your performance and Ben's performance is a very good, and especially yeah. yourself. Oh, thank you. You're most welcome. You know, I wonder if you've ever worked or thought of working with Nicole Holsena. Oh, that's so funny that you say that. I uh, have gotten close to working with her, and I, I hope to work with her. Um, she was attached to direct a project that I was interested in, and then she ended up dropping out, and they ended up using a different actress than me, but she's one of those directors that I keep kind of circling. I think, I mean, judging, and I've only seen you in this, I haven't seen your other work, but mm -hmm. I, I feel that you'd be perfect. I've oh, spoken to her before, you. and I thought about this today, and this is another stranger than fiction story, yeah. but this is really true. I thought about that, and I thought that I was going to tell you that, and my phone buzzes, and I check my phone, the email is from an agency here in San Francisco saying Nicole Holofsener is coming to town. No, I that's so on. weird. Isn't that weird? That is, I mean, those things are, yeah, she's, she's definitely a director that I would, you know, get, she's on my list. I have a list of directors I'd like to work mm -hmm. with, and she's definitely on, on the list. Yeah, she's tremendous. And Noah's done great work in the past yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah. And and your journey as Florence is is uh, wow, it's quite a journey. Yes, Florence is a Florence goes through quite a bit, but um, she's yeah, she's really special. I I think I think that's what one of the things I I loved about the movie was you don't people don't make movies about girls like her. Right. And I. I I think I felt really honored that I got to bring her to life because there are a lot of girls like her. And um, I don't know, she's simultaneously like a hundred girls I know and like her own individual soul. And I think, um, I think she's, it's really exciting to do something that feels, um, that feels so true and so unnoticed. Mm -hmm. And, the, and she definitely had a lot of depth to her. She had a lot of different things going on. She's yeah. not some kind of template cardboard no. cut out that no. we are unfortunately accustomed to in a lot of I know. Hollywood type movies. Yeah, she's, um, yeah, she's not, she's, not uh, she's, she's incredibly multidimensional and flawed and, you know, she, she, she's full. She's not, um, I think Jennifer Jason Leigh said this actually. Um, she said most most female parts in movies, you're just there to prove that the leading male is heterosexual. <laughs> <laughs> and I I couldn't agree more. Most parts are that. It's just like yes, he's straight, and we know he's straight because they like each other. Um, but that they don't have any stake of their own. They don't have any life of their own. They don't have anything other than that. And um, and she's definitely, she's not that. She's, she's, she has her own story. Mm -hmm. Of course, the exception, I just thought that the exception to that rule was mm, for a, a single man with, uh, right. with uh, Julia, uh, Julia Moore. Julia Moore yeah. And well, the yeah. had it made you think that they were together. I know, course. I know. A single man not interested in Julia Moore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's true. That's an exception. But um, cultivating a character like uh, yeah. like Florence, um, for you, you, you've acted in several different things. You've yeah. directed. Yeah. So you have that experience. This character is a unique or different character, I'm sure, than some of the ones you may have played in the past. Right. So what was the journey like trying to put her together, trying to build her as a character for right. you as an actor? Well, I think... I mean, I, I was starting with this incredible script that was, for me, um, it's like a basket of words that you know will hold anything you put in it and that you can lean on it and it'll, it'll hold its form. So then you can just fill it with all this stuff of her life and who she is and what she likes and her preconceptions and all of this. And, um, but a large part of it was as opposed to layering things on top of myself, a lot of things included taking things away. Because things that Greta has developed, certain barriers or defenses or ways I have of coping, Florence doesn't have. 
and I think a lot of it was shedding things, so that you're left, I felt left, I felt very vulnerable when I was kind of done making Florence, um, because she doesn't, she just doesn't have some of the hardness that, um, that I have, and when you start taking that away, and then you're just, and you're left with, you have to trust that, you know, she'll come through, um, but, you know, whatever Greta's instincts are, of like, oh, I'm going to really act to this scene. No, you're not, because Florence is not going to do that. You know, you have to stay true to what you know the character will do, not your own personal vanity about acting, right. acting your face off. Right. Well, that's like a self-censorship, though. If you do try to do that to yourself, put this kind of vanity, yeah. you kind of stifle yourself, I would imagine, as an actor. You know, I guess you have to let it, there has to be a point somewhere where you have to let the character take over. Yeah, yeah, and you have to, yeah, you really have to put yourself aside. And um, But I couldn't, like, I, I couldn't imagine it. I, I really love her, and I, I couldn't imagine a character I, I, I wanted to, give myself to more, and, um, and I think it really, I think I became a better actress in the process of making it, and I think Jennifer, Noah, and Ben really helped me become a better actress, because they, they kept honoring, the farther I wanted to go with it, the, the more they were there with me, they weren't, they, they really allowed, um, me to grow and find her, and they never pushed me, but they were always supporting. I've got I to gotta ask you this. Um, sure. Because that's funny. I was a, this is another strange thing. I was at Musso and Frank's. Oh, my God. <laughs> five days yeah. before I saw this movie. No. <laughs> oh, my God. And there I am. And I sit in this screen room. Musso this is a Frank's. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> it's really funny. Musso and Frank's is, um, it was really fun to shoot there, actually. And the waiters are. Actually, the waiters from the, the real waiters. Yeah, right. I recognized one of the people I saw. I bet you did. <laughs> it, yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a great, grand, historic place yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. A, a million and one stories have been told there for sure. I know. Um, so so if amazing. these walls could talk. Yeah, you know? <laughs> exactly. 